this is a future me with editing, but I didn't really have a concise intro for this video, so I just wanted to say hi, and it's after all of the class shutdown and stuff that I'm talking to you now, but this video is from last week before our school transitioned to all online classes and everything everywhere got shut down. It's our last week of semi-normalcy at Michigan State. Um, I'm also starting off the video with the last basketball game I went to in the Izone. It was actually actually our seniors' last basketball game as students ever, which they didn't know because the NCAA tournament and the Big Ten tournament were canceled. So it's actually an even more special game than I thought in the moment, but there's footage from that, and then we'll get into the vlog. Hey friends, it's been a minute. So this vlog is going to include me getting my life back kind of on track after spring break. Um, just getting a lot of things done. I have so much going on in the next few weeks. Like every single week is jam packed. There's activities on the weekend. Like things are moving up until graduation. We have eight weeks until graduation, eight Mondays. Today is the first Monday. So seven more Mondays. It's crazy. But I'm at the gym parking lot as per usual. So I'm about to go and work out and then get groceries. I'll show you guys what I get. I'm just picking up a few things to make some healthy lunches and dinners. And then I'm going to go back to my apartment and tackle all of the spring break laundry and just clothes and clean my room. I didn't have time to clean it before break because we just had to leave right away. So I really need to get my space fresh so that I can be productive this week. But yeah, that's pretty much the update. I'll also update you guys later today after physical therapy about my like knee and what's going on with that. Um, as far as I know, it's all like positive news, so that's really nice. But yeah, I'm gonna go do my workout really quick, get the groceries, and then I will be back with you guys. All right, I've already had like three little mini fails or flops this morning, but one, I forgot to show you guys my groceries. Not that exciting, I'll go through it in a minute. I'll just tell you guys what I bought you know what everything looks like, so I really don't need to show you. Um, I forgot my headphones at the gym. I'm sure you all relate to that. That happens sometimes, and it's not ideal, but thankfully I had some club stuff to do, so I was just like keeping myself distracted on my phone. Got through the workout. All was fine. And then, last thing, I put on this cute outfit. I mean, it's literally like just like a normal shirt and like leggings, but and then I'm gonna wear a jean jacket and a little necklace and some rings, but then I remember to have my PT, and I'm supposed to wear like shorts and like athletic clothes, so... I'm gonna have to change because <laughs> I totally forgot that that was like I knew it was happening but I didn't remember that I actually had to like do stuff while I was there which doesn't make sense but so I'm all showered it's noon I'm about to make some lunch I'm gonna make like a homemade pizza bagels without cheese and then a little salad with some balsamic dressing and I'm going to do some club stuff on my laptop and my laundry's going which is great there's only two of the four washers open so I still have two more loads to do but We'll get there eventually. I wash like the most important things, which is great because I'm out of like workout leggings. And then um, once I'm done eating lunch and doing the club stuff, I'm going to try to clean up my room. I have to leave here at like 1.30, so I have like an hour and a half to do things. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just pulled into the place I do my physical therapy. I'm like right on time, so I'm not gonna update you guys yet, but I'm gonna go to my session and then I'm gonna get back in the car and I'll tell you guys like what's going on with the knee situation especially because it'll be good after having gone to like two sessions. I might know a little bit more anyways. All right, so PT is done. It was good, it was quick. It's only a 30 minute appointment. Um, so it's 2.35 right now, like walking out to my car and finishing up at the desk and stuff. Took a few minutes, but I need to go to campus. So I need to, I'm gonna drive through to see if there's parking at Holmes, which is the dorm I lived in freshman year. Then I just skirt inside really quick and try to print my poster for lab we have to print it like as like tiles to save money rather than going to print like a nice thing from the library like an actual poster so it does save money like it'll be like two dollars instead of like 20 
but if there's no parking at home, so I'm gonna drive back to my apartment and then walk over to the library and print it there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and see, but neat update, I guess. Um, things are like good, like it's fine. They're really confident that they're gonna be able to get me able to like run again. It's just like a whole like slew of issues all combining together to give me like the pain that I have when I'm running. So, um, it's like straightening out my tracking of my knee like where my patella like my kneecap goes whenever I flex it and like move it. It's going a little bit out instead of straight. So they did like some tape today. I can show you guys. Tape action. <laughs> super cute <laughs> so they gave me the tape for like to wear for a couple days to see how i like that and they'll like tell me how to retape it if that's something i think is helpful as we're going through the training um so working on strengthening my glutes and my hips like abductor and abduct and ad doctor yeah it took me a minute i haven't been anatomy in a while abductor and adductor so those are like the two different motions you do like in versus out with your hips um and then also like my inner thigh is really weak so working on that and then also my ankle i'm um, trying to keep that more stable because that after i tore my acl and was like recovering pretty well and like getting back to like being decent at volleyball again then i sprained my ankle and after that everything was downhill and then i had like my senior year like last season in high school and that was just a flop like athletically i was not good but the club season so the spring of my junior year i was actually doing really well and then i sprained my ankle and then again a flop <laughs> for the rest of my volleyball career but um anyways so i really like the people at this place and i'm very optimistic that it's going to be successful and that hopefully i can get into a better state with my knee and also they also said another thing that might be helpful is orthopedics i did get those like shoe inserts you know specific for my arches and everything done back in high school as well um related to my acl and like recovery and stuff and they were really helpful for my performance but i only wore them during volleyball she's recommending i wear them like pretty much all the time and also getting like proper running shoes so i think all those things combined is like a pretty positive outlook that i should be able to get myself together and i think running is like one of the best ways to get fit so i'm hoping that i can be able to run again and then i'll be able to run and lose some weight and build up my stamina and endurance and just be a healthier human so i'm very optimistic about everything and i'm hoping for the best it's been a good monday so far but yeah i have to go print that poster that's due tomorrow morning and i guess tomorrow afternoon in lab it already turned in the pdf online last night because it was due today so they knew that like you had it done but we're like presenting them in class tomorrow i have to do a prep assignment for genetics for tomorrow afternoon as well and then i have to do some micro modules that are due at our recitation tomorrow morning so that's the school stuff to do and i also have to get up tuesday's video it's usually vlog and then other video is the thursday but this week because i don't have too much time to do the um vlog like get it ready i think i'm just gonna do a sit down video that i filmed in my car for tuesday and then thursday will be florida's if it's good enough to post i might just skip thursday and then you guys are seeing this on the current tuesday so very fun the magic of editing but yeah i think that's pretty much all my updates i just have a lot going on um ad meeting tonight big deal it's our open meeting so people that aren't in the club are allowed to come and kind of see what it's all about that way they can like get to know people before rush in the fall even though i'll be gone but still exciting for them and we're picking our e-board next monday for ad and then tuesday night this week is a hands-on meeting for pre-dental club which is really fun we're doing soap carving um which you just like chisel away like a little design and that's good for like fine motor skills so that's kind of fun it's our first hands-on meeting and then wednesday night is ted x msu if you've heard of like ted talks they do their own kind of session at my school um, where really cool speakers give presentations and i'm very excited to go with my friends and also tuesday night is my friend nicole's her birthday is today monday but we're celebrating tomorrow night so we're gonna do a little shindig going out situation for her then thursday night i need to go to the library and learn micro because my exam is next tuesday so a week from tomorrow which is unfortunately st patrick's day so i will not be having any fun on st patrick's day because i have an exam at 7 p.m professors love to do that to you they really do like halloween st patrick's day they're like exam gotcha it's fine though i don't really care i'm not 
all that crazy so it's no big deal i'm interested to see if this weekend has like a lot of social stuff going on for st patrick's day or if it's more just like normal going out stuff which doesn't really matter to me i have a little green boa that i can wear if we are being festive but we will see so i'm gonna go to homes and see if i can print and if not we'll walk to the library i'll see you guys later tonight with whatever is happening uh bachelor part one of finale is tonight and then part two is tomorrow night so that is also very very exciting i'm 99 percent sure maddie's gonna win and then they break up and that the producer whole theory is real but we won't ever get to see that on tv that's kind of my stance but it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna go and here's the bag with the parking spot in holmes time to go in and print All right, here's my embarrassing before shot of my room. There's just so much stuff everywhere. It's literally awful. The desk area, like big, yikes. And then my whole bed is covered in this gigantic pile of clothes. And like one of my drawers from my closet needs to be put back. And then like even up on my dresser has stuff. So we're gonna clean all of this now. So, my video for Tuesday is going to be the let's chat, like, why you should love yourself, tips for doing it, that is uploading right now. It says it's going to take an hour. Let's pray that's not accurate. But, um, yeah, <laughs> there she is. And then the college spring break one, I got everything put in here, but it would really be too much time that I don't have to edit that, so I'm going to have to do that on Wednesday during the day or something, but it's 5.15 right now. I have to leave at probably 6.15 for my meeting, so I have an hour. I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm feeling perhaps some... I have to make my asparagus, so asparagus, because I need vegetables. And then maybe I'll do um, some pasta and call it a day. And I wanna put on some makeup, and I'm gonna brush my hair a little bit and put it down for the meeting and my bedroom is nearly done. I will show you guys. The desk area is nice and clean. Hey guys, the meeting went so well. We had like at least 20 new people show up that are interested for next year, which is really exciting for them. Obviously I'm leaving, but I have a really good feeling that the organization is gonna stay very strong and get even better so I'm really happy for them but we watched Bachelor started at 9 so we finished at 11 um, we started late because Alicia had a meeting um, and then there's tomorrow's the other part of the finale but um, I'm gonna watch it on Wednesday because we're going out for Nicole's birthday after pre-dental club so I'm about to go to bed I have my 8 a.m. tomorrow um, I might get some shots of campus and then I'll probably come back from class and try to get some work done but realistically i'll probably end up taking a nap till the meeting so you guys will see what happens i will see you on tuesday little phone clip coming at you but it's so weird that walking to class and like it's lighter now because it's getting lighter but it was pitch black when i left it's the time change man <laughs> from my phone love that but I'm going to pick up my tickets for TEDx MSU right now at the ward
by the bad quality, but I'm just gonna update you. I'm walking back to class. So I got out of lab early. It was so, so, so exciting, like an hour early. So it's like 1.30ish right now. I just picked up the ticket back there in the Wharton Center for the TED Talk conference thing that's tomorrow night. But I'm gonna go home to my apartment. I have time to work out now, so that's exciting. And then we have pre-dental club at seven, like I told you guys in like the intro clip. And yeah, that's pretty much all my updates, I think. I'm just gonna try to do some homework and work out until the meeting. Hi guys, so I am back from class. Um, it's like 4.10 right now. So, so nice that I got out of class early. I didn't actually go to the gym because I've been walking a lot lately and I have to do my PT for my knee here anyways. So that's like kind of strength training. Um, but I'm about to go to Michael's craft store to pick up some extra carving tools for our meeting tonight. We're doing soap carving and we have more people coming than we thought so we need some extra stuff. These shirts are so cute. I <laughs> designed them for our club. Let me show you the back. If you can see. But it's basically a little Michigan hand with like different symbols of like medicine in it. And anyway, since I got back from class, what I've been doing is uploading a video Thursday, last week Thursday's video, which is the spring break vlog. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I will link it in the description. That's what I was up to last week and that's why I'm like all going crazy this week getting everything together. But I'm about to go to Michael's and pick that up and then there's also a Panera in that plaza so I think I'm going to get a carryout Greek salad with chicken sounds so good um, and that'll be my dinner and then I'm picking up Stacy our treasurer at 6:15 for the meeting to help her because she doesn't have a car and we have a bunch of bars of soap and things and t-shirts and stuff to bring to the meeting so she needs a hand so I'm gonna pick her up then so pretty much gonna come back and eat and then go to the meeting essentially once I do all the driving but it's so nice outside today it's let's see the temperature check my watch only 48 actually but it feels warm I'm just wearing a jean jacket and I feel comfortable so I'm excited to go drive around it's so sunny and stuff so I'm excited to do my little errand and yeah after the meeting going out for my friend Nicole's birthday that was yesterday like I told you guys we're going to tin can just for like a more casual thing but I'm excited to like meet her other friends that I don't know yet I already know most of her roommates but it'll just be a nice like little social activity and then I don't have class tomorrow until 10 20 and then I have my mentoring so that's kind of the agenda I will see you guys on Wednesday hey guys it is what day is it Thursday so I didn't vlog at all on Wednesday because the day was crazy. I'm sure if you're in college, you're experiencing this too, but with the virus, um, our classes were canceled in person, so we're doing everything online. And then also, pretty much any like big event on campus is supposed to be canceled. And then off-campus events is really like up to like your own judgment and stuff. So I was dealing with a lot for the two clubs that I'm on eboard for, just figuring out how we're going to do meetings like virtually and which events we can keep and which events we can cancel. So we had to cancel our trip to Chicago to tour Midwestern Illinois and then also do a service project in downtown. So that's canceled. And then we're keeping our semi-formal next weekend, which is in East Lansing. And then all of our meetings are transitioning to virtual. So that made my morning and like afternoon pretty stressful, but everything's worked out now, which is great. But then I just kind of did class and chilled and then today I had class and I have PT later and then pretty much just going to be studying the rest of this work week and then this weekend try to have some fun for St. Patrick's Day. A lot of like the people on campus are going to go to their like permanent residen residences like home home but most people that live off campus like my age are staying in their houses or apartments just because it's already like your own room usually and stuff but um it's a little crazy and it's definitely stressful and overwhelming but since I'm not really going to be doing much else I figured I would end off the video here and give myself some time to upload it that way I can really focus on studying for a micro exam that is Tuesday night which is St. Patrick's Day which if you can tell I'm not going to be having much fun but that is totally fine so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video